everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. Happy, happy Wednesday. And I hope that you are keeping warm in these like ugh, bitter cold temperatures. Um, besides the snow and the rain and the freezing cold, I give up. <laughs> I am not a winter person. Anyway, as you can see, I'm starting to decorate this tree back here. Um, I explained, I think, in one of my earlier videos that a lot of my Valentine's Day decorations ended up going to work with me, so I didn't realize I don't have a ton left. So I just have like a couple things here, and I really got to get working on that tree. I'm sure you also noticed that I am back in my original craft room from when I first started doing videos. My daughter is moving back in. As you know, she is due in the next three weeks with my beautiful grandbaby, and they are moving in here. She's going to need some help, you know, first time mom, and I'm so excited. Anyway, that's what I did all weekend. Um, I didn't explain in yesterday's video. I wanted to do the walkthrough for you. I spent all weekend cleaning, rearranging, setting things up, putting things together, moving this room into that room, and blah, blah, blah. It was just a heck of a weekend. It really was. It was very busy. Um, <laughs> with that being said, went to the Dollar Tree today, found some great Valentine's Day stuff. I have some crafts in mind that I want to do tomorrow. So let's just hop right in here. I got to calm myself down. I get way too excited. And let me show you the things that I bought and give you a heads up on things that we may need for tomorrow for our DIYs. So First things first, I got a few of these just absolutely gorgeous, what do you call these, tinsel garland, maybe tinsel garland wreaths. They have them in different colors, in which I'm going to show you because of course I had to purchase them in different colors. This red one though, absolutely stunning. I have these, I like to replace the Christmas wreaths outside of the house on the windows and the doors with these. They look so thick and full. As you can see, it indents in the back. There's really not a lot to this, but from the front, they just look super thick and super full. And I absolutely just love these. They do usually have these every year. So I picked up quite a few of those in red that I love. And I also got them, oh, hold on, in the other colors that they had. So they have this pretty hot pink one. Huh. This is like becoming another favorite. So as I've explained, my Christmas outside is usually white lights with red garland. That's why I always went with the red hearts because it just kind of kept like the whole Christmas thing going. Um, because <laughs> you guys know how much I love that. But I picked up this one and this color is just super pretty. I absolutely love it. So I got one in this color. I did get one in these next three. They have this gorgeous purple, which you guys know is just another favorite. It's my favorite color. I love the purple. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. I, again, with the Valentine's Day, I just realized like as I put the Christmas stuff away and I'm pulling out some of my other decorations, I don't have a lot for Valentine's Day. So I guess I typically don't really decorate a lot for this holiday, but this year, like I really want to. So we're going in and I know it's coming around the corner, but this purple, stunning. And then they have this super pretty pink one here. Just try to get that tag out of the way. So we have just absolutely gorgeous colors in these. We have pink, this gorgeous purple, this amazing pink, and then of course our traditional red. They are just super pretty. I love them. And again, I love the fact that they just have like this thickness to them. And there's really not much to them, but I got this smaller little glitter heart in this pretty pink. It has this really nice pink ribbon. This is actually going to be going on this tree here. I figured we can use this more for like our tree topper. So since I realized after digging through my stuff that I don't have a ton of decorations for this Valentine's Day tree. Because 
I told you I brought my other Christmas tree this size here to work. It's in the office. And when Christmas was over and I started to take the decorations off, I really kind of wanted to keep it up. So I brought a lot of my Valentine's Day stuff there and decorated that tree. So now I don't have a lot, but that's okay. So I got this for our tree topper back here. Because I always have red. You see a lot of red in the tree. I do have the Valentine's Day garland, that thick garland that they have. I have some spare. Let me show you. This garland here that has the little red hearts that dangle from it, which being that it's all red, it's kind of hard to see when it's on the tree. But this garland here, you do get nine feet. And I know I showed this to you already, but now that it's sitting here, look at the thickness of this garland. It really does kind of outbeat their other garlands that kind of just seem so thin. But this one's like great quality. I love it. So I do have the garland on and I do have like an XOXO back there. So that's going on. I'm just picking up a couple things to be able to put on the tree. I did pick up this scarf here. They had a couple different patterns. I don't think I got the pictures of those honestly today, but this one here is just a plaid pattern. So we have like darker pink, lighter pink, and white. This is going to be used for that tree as well. Because you guys know I always put like a little tree skirt around it. And I usually, on um, off seasons, because Christmas I think really is the only one that has like actual tree skirts. So I tend to use scarves for that holiday. So this one here is going to be our tree skirt for my tree back there. Um, let's see this here and I don't know what I'm doing with it, but you guys know I'm always open to suggestions. These are heart shaped rings. Now you guys seen, and I'm sure cause I bought them. They have them in the circle ones. So they have the smaller, the medium and the large circle. We used those when I made the, um, centerpieces for my daughter's baby shower. So now they have them in hearts. Okay. And they're just a cute little pink that I adore. I don't know what I want to do with them. So any suggestions, of course, in the comment section, feel free. I am open to suggestions because honestly, I don't know what, what I want to do yet, but I love these. I love the size differences. I love that you get three. You know, more for your, your buck is always great. I got, let's see. Oh, I picked these up. Absolutely cute. These are cutouts, it says. You get six pieces, and this is what they look like. So it looks as if, well, let's just take it out. It looks as if the back remains flat, <coughs> and then the little cutout in front of it or on top, you fold to make them look like they pop out. So it does come just flat, and then you just fold these up here, and look at that. And it just transforms your little heart, kind of gives it like a 3D effect. They have different sizes in here. You get six per, yes, you get six pieces per pack. And as you can tell on the front, you get two of the larger ones, two of the medium ones, and two of the smaller ones. But you can even see with them sitting on this table, it kind of gives them, like I said, like this little 3D effect, which is really pretty. And so simple. Who would have thunk it? Have a flat back, a shinier insert here, fold it up. Oh! <laughs> and then you have a really cute little piece. I love it. I just love it. I also grabbed these heart-shaped doilies. You do get 16 in each pack. They do have them in different colors. They have them in pink, white, and red. I am going with pink. This is, <coughs> what was I? These come in different sizes as well. I think these are the larger ones. I feel as if they may have a medium and a small, or it's just a medium and a large. I can't 100% can't remember. But, and they, the different sizes, different amount that you get in each package. But I want to, kind of play with these. These are great too to just kind of put down if you want to put a candle on them or a Christmas. See, I'm still stuck at Christmas or a Valentine's Day decoration. Let me just, I'm trying to get one out here for you. But look how cute. 
I mean, you could just lay this flat. You could put a, um, where am I going? A vase on top of it with some flowers, and this will just kind of add to that, which is super cute. They are not fabric. They are paper. And just look at all those cute little cutouts there. They're super bright, but they are paper. So 16 with the bigger ones. And of course, any pictures that I did take, I will post at the end of this video of all the other amazing stuff they have because there's a lot. There is a lot. I know they jumped the gun on the Easter stuff already, um, but the Dollar Tree I was at today did not have much of it. They had a very small selection and nothing that I was really interested in. So I didn't get any of it. So I'm hoping, and I know I'm pushing it, but I'm hoping that it starts to come out like a little bit more. All right. I also grabbed these heart-shaped picks. You get seven in each one. These are in a really pretty pink with lots of glitter, of course. They have these in red as well. And these are also for the Valentine's Day tree. <laughs> so I'm trying to grab little things to make that a little bit more festive back there. But they are just little styrofoam hearts. They are covered in glitter and they have like the matching stick here for the, you know, to stick them in. I have these downstairs in a floral bouquet for Valentine's Day. It's a bunch of red roses and it has these really pretty pink hearts kind of sticking out all over it, which is super cute. So they accent to things too. If you just wanted to use the styrofoam heart, I'm sure. I don't want to say it and it not be true, but I'm sure they probably come apart pretty easy. So we're just going to test that theory real quick. And they do. They pop right out. So if you just need a little puffy styrofoam heart for something, you could do that. You can use it as table scatter. You can use these in. If you have a clear vase, you can use these in there to add to it. So they do come off super, super easy. I also picked up these felt stickers. You get a hundred of them in here. As you can see, it is just a little thin white piece of paper back there that you pull off for the sticky part. You do get three different colors in this pack and it looks to be three different sizes as well. So you have red, you have pink, and you have white. These are your bigger, I'm trying to get the light out of there. Your bigger hearts here. You have a medium size heart here. And then there are some little small hearts at the bottom. We're just gonna rip that off of there. So I can show you. Showing you is easier than telling you. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Let me just get my hand in here. Pull out the three different sizes. Don't fall over. So here is your larger heart. Here is your medium sized heart. And then here is your little small heart. So you do get three in all three different colors. There, the light's working with us now. So you do get three sizes in three different colors, okay? A hundred of them. Again, you'll just peel off that little white backing here and that is your sticker. I got three little yard signs, which you guys know it is like impossible. I've explained to stick anything in my yard, like nothing goes in. It goes in this much and that's it. So I have a different little thing in mind here, but look how cute these are. So they're like the candy hearts, which I think is really cute. That's what they remind me of. At least it's just a wooden heart. I know, but they remind me of those candy hearts that you get. This one says sweetheart on it. It's blue. They all have a little ribbon made into a bow here. This one is purple. It looks like it matches the writing. And then of course, your yardstick here that does come to a point if you're lucky enough to be able to stick things in your ground. I am not, unfortunately. But they had three different colors there. Of course, I got all three. We got the blue one that said sweetheart. And they may have other colors at other ones. I just, the one I was at, this is all they had. It was three. This one's got stuff on it. We have a purple one here with the word love in the background. So it does seem as if the glitter word is what is matching the bow. So we have a beautiful pink bow. And then we have one, a pink one that says be mine. 
in purple glitter with a purple bow. And uh, see, I moved and now like, I'm looking for my measuring tape, but it's not just sitting right there. So, but that's a decent size here. It's a decent size stick here on the back for you to get be able to get into your ground. But these are the three colors that I found. There may be more. If anybody has seen any more, please feel free to leave that in the comment section. But these are the three that I found and I thought that they were just really cute. Just gorgeous. I picked up just a simple Happy Valentine's Day decorative box. They also have these in different sizes as well. They have the larger ones, they had a medium sized one, and then a smaller one. I did get the larger of the three. But you see when that light hits that gold, that accent is just so pretty. And this is Happy Valentine's Day, has some pretty gold hearts. That was really, I think, just makes me go like in love with it. So when that light hits it, it's just super pretty. It does have such a nice pink ribbon here as a handle, and it just has a very purpley, pretty inside. So I got that. I also picked up these are the bags are called decorative 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 accents it's a 24 ounce bag and this is just of those white stones now again you guys know you can use these for lots of different things i use this in like a succulent centerpiece i made one year you can use these to weigh things down you can use these in vases you can use these however you would like there's so many different options i did pick up two because we will need them for a diy and then I visited the Dollar Tree Plus section and I grabbed a couple of things. I picked up this LED crackle globe with Himalayan salt. I actually have one of these. I have one of these on my desk. These are $5. They are super pretty. You, uh, I think it's three AAA batteries. Yes, three AAA batteries, indoor use only. There's fairly, fairly, there is fairy lights that are wrapped around the little Himalayan salt rocks inside there. This lights up, and actually this lights up more like of a yellow on the package. In person, it lights up with a brighter, brighter white color. But these are super pretty. Um, I have a coworker who absolutely loves mine, so I decided to pick her one, pick her up one. Um, I haven't seen them in a while, but now they are back, so fantastic. And then the last two things I got is this gorgeous little decor piece. It was $3. It's super gorgeous, right? So simple, but so pretty. I love all the different things about this. So we have different colors. We kind of leave one plain. We have some color. We have like a burlap background. And then we have like that metal, which is really cool. So $3. It is a really nice thick side. You're going to be able just to set this down somewhere and go on and then somebody had asked me at Christmas time to make one of these I honestly didn't even know what it was I had to look it up it is a kissing ball I have never seen a kissing ball before to be honest I did look them up planned on making one just never had the time um they are selling them so whoever it was, if you want to know, they are selling them at the Dollar Tree. It is in the Dollar Tree Plus section. It is $3. And here is this super gorgeous kissing ball. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to hang this for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be very honest. They have them in two different colors, red, and they have them in pink. I'm going with the red because I'm going to hold on to this for Christmas next year. I feel like I'm going to add some stuff to it. Gorgeous red ribbon here to hang it. And just beautiful red floral roses all around it. And this is what a kissing ball is. I just didn't know. But now we do. And I love it. I really do. <laughs> to be very honest to you. And to be even more honest, buying this for $3 is going to be cheaper than making one. So if you want one, go run and grab it. Because they are super, super pretty. I love it. But I'm saving mine for Christmas next year. Oh, but that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Stay warm. It is freezing. And until next time, bye now.